How's it going today? This is WSU Real Fan, and today I'm going to talk about some of the camera equipment that I use in the field when I'm out shooting railroad footage, or any kind of footage in general. Today, the piece of equipment that I'm going to focus on is the GoPro video camera. This camera I mainly use uh, when I'm on the move, when I'm driving from location to location. Over the course of this video, we are going to talk about some of the camera strengths, some of the camera's weaknesses. Also, I am going to discuss how I mount the GoPro camera in my vehicle. Now, the GoPro camera does have some strengths. It is extremely portable. Plus, you can shoot footage very easily with this camera. It's basically a point-and-click setup. Uh, the GoPro camera, it does shoot HD video footage, and one of the things I like about the GoPro camera, and one of the reasons why I do mount the GoPro camera in my car, is that it allows me to shoot footage that I would not be able to shoot ordinarily, say, when I'm driving. Uh, I let the GoPro camera do the work for me. Now, the GoPro camera, it does also have some weaknesses. While this GoPro camera is good, it does have some weaknesses. One of the biggest weaknesses that I found with this GoPro camera is the constant fisheye effect. I have yet to find a solution to how to get rid of this fisheye effect, and, and it kind of is annoying to me when I go out and use it in the field. The second weakness of this camera is the audio recording capabilities. Now, for being a small camera, this GoPro camera has decent audio recording capabilities, but I'm used to using either consumer camcorders or prosumer camcorders, and at times even broadcast equipment and when you use that stuff and then you use the GoPro equipment uh, you, you find that the audio recording capabilities are quite limited on this camera. Okay so I'm going to talk about some of the equipment that I use to mount the GoPro camera in the car and I use a basic uh, windshield mount with a suction cup. I bought this device at I bought this device here at my local department store, uh, uh, Spread Myers, where I bought mine. I'm sure you could buy these at Walmart or, or Target or any big box store uh, retailer, wherever you guys live. Uh, this is basically it was intended for either GPS devices or uh, cell phones. It has a suction cup here, which you use to uh, mount to the windshield. And then this device right here adjusts to the size of the GoPro. Or excuse me, well to the GoPro or to the cell phone or whatever camera you want to use. And it just comes together like that. And then you take this, you mount it up to your windshield, and you're good to go. Alright, now that we've addressed the strengths and weaknesses of the GoPro camera, and we've discussed the equipment used to mount the camera in the car, Let's watch this camera in action. This footage was shot on State Route 14, just east of Vancouver, Washington. I was heading west into Vancouver while uh, shooting this footage.
All right, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video uh, about my GoPro camera and some of the equipment that I use in the field. If you'd like, let me know what you guys use in the field. Let me know what kind of cameras you guys use, what kind of devices you use to mount these cameras to, whether they're traditional tripods or mounts like I have for in-vehicle use. Also, feel free to subscribe and uh, drop me a line at WSU Real Fan on YouTube or at my other channel, which is Railroad Nation. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.